Today's week of the Barnstormer beer is a smoked version of a beer by Barnstormer that was tried a while ago. Oh, what? You going down, people of the world? My name is Redbeard, and this is a daily drink vlog for the beer of the today. We've got a bottle of smoked Billy Bishop Brown by the Barnstormer Brewing and Distilling Company. Oh yeah, once again, barnstormerbrewing.com. Go check them out. This is uh, another one of their seasonal type beers, like the Polar Pumpkin that was had on Monday. And like I said, I've had the Billy Bishop Brown a while ago, and I, if I remember correctly, I very much enjoyed it. Where in the Sam Hell is my bottle opener? Really? That's not cool. Damn thing trying to hide on me. Let's crack her open. And let's see what we have got. I think this one's a little bit on the lighter side. Even though it's a darker beer, but ABV wise, a little on the lighter side. Looks pretty nice. Looks quite nice. As always, all the thanks in the whole wide world. For those who watch my videos, the beard loves you all so very, 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 very much. Yeah, she's dark. But, ooh, there you go. You get the. See the silhouette of the sexy lady behind the, the redness, or something along those lines. I don't know what I'm talking about. Ooh, that smells smoky. Like that roasty kind of nice. Let's give her a shot. Oh, that is delightful incredibly smooth but the really really pronounced malty smoky flavor in there oh that's great let's do this cheers everybody oh yeah so much of the oh yeah Still waiting on Brad from Barnstormer to send me some facts. So, um, we're gonna make do. It's all good. It's my fault, actually. I didn't send Brad a message as early as I should have. I sent it, I think, on Friday or something, and I'm starting the week of the Barnstormer on Monday, and I don't know. I didn't give him a whole lot of time to find stuff. But today's beer, unlike yesterday's beer, is actually on a few of the websites. We got it on Beer Advocate. It has not had 10, I guess before the full rating comes out on Beer Advocate, it needs at least 10 reviews. We have one review and two ratings. Uh, what do we got here? This guy said, a dark brown pour, some ruby highlights, booming, tight bubbled, creamy, light tan head. Chunky lacing around the glass as the head dissipates. I'm kind of learning some stuff. I guess that's, that's what you'd call the chunky lacing. Then he says, dark stone fruits, raisins, dates, figs, some brown sugar and vanilla in the taste. The smoke is pretty subdued. It takes a back seat to the base beer. I'm going to disagree with that. I find the smoky flavor to be like really pronounced in this beer. Figgy, raisiny, kind of. Yeah, I can get that. I can. I can believe it. Let me get the rest of this in there. Let's see if we get some more head. Just like that damn pumpkin beer didn't pour a whole lot. That's better. That's way better. And yet, like he said, it's a light, off white, kind of tan head. Dissipates pretty quickly. I can watch it go away right now. The base beer beams through with raisins and figs, not nearly as much brown sugar or vanilla as he was expecting, this gentleman here. His, uh, I don't know, he doesn't say his name anywhere. Oh, core guy one, two, three. <laughs> uh, smoke is very minimal, again he says, which I, no, no, that's not true. He says he likes this amount of smoke, anything more, and he finds it off-putting. I'm a big fan of that smoky flavor. Like a lot of the uh, Innocent Gun beers from Scotland. 
They do a lot of that toasted oak kind of mm -hmm. good stuff. So this guy gave it a 3.87 out of 5. And it says there's two ratings, but I don't see the other rating. Regardless. Um, oh, we actually got some an actual little write-up on the beer here. It's a twist on the long-standing Barnstormer favorite, smoked Billy Bishop Brown Ale. It is light to dark brown, but relatively clear if visible in light. The smoked up Bishop has a moderate off-white to tan head. Yes, he does. He's good. He's carbonated. Pardon me. No bad flavors at all there. No bad flavors anywhere in that beer. It's really, really tasty. Apparently the aroma is malty sweet with a rich caramel or toffee-like character ending with light smoke. Very lightly fruity with notes of dark fruits such as plums and or raisins, the smoked bishop has little to no hop aroma. I won't deny that. I'm not getting kind of any hoppy presence whatsoever in this beer. I imagine it was brewed with hops, but we don't have ingredients on here. Like I've said before, only available at the brewery. Give you a little bit of a pass, but at the same time, like there's still no reason. Like there should still be a date on here and you should still have your ingredients, in my personal opinion. And then your damn, it's, does it say here somewhere? 3.8 is the ABV. Cause this like, it's just below four. Who the hell knows what that could be? Your little flight kind of thing there. And then we got IBUs of maybe 18, under 20. It's still good. I'm not going to criticize you too much for it. I really do like the whole Barnstormer flight theme that they have going on. Everything's pretty cool. Uh, what do you the last thing it says here about this? The smoked bishop has a taste of caramel or toffee-like malty sweetness on the palate, but is lasting into the fresh with uh, with a into the finish with a light smoke trail. There is still a dark fruit complexity mixed with balanced but not overpowering smoke essence. Low to no hop bitterness. And actually, it says this beer is retired, no longer brewed. On the bottom okay that's unusual when was this beer when was this review done does it say when it was done january 2nd 2014 i'm gonna say that's a lie because i bought this like a week ago <laughs> i don't think it's been sitting on the shelf at the brewery for that long on untapped.com we have got a rating of 3.55 and there's no real good reviews on Untapped. Like you, you do the app and you say you liked it, but like, ooh, smoky but not overwhelming. I like it. Lots of flavor for a light beer. Nuttiness with a hint of smoke. A bit like chewing smoky bacon. This guy gave it one and a half stars. That guy's an idiot. Even if it was a bit like chewing smoky bacon, that would be delicious. Smoky bacon is fantastic. Josh W., a bit of a fool. Like, I do my ratings out of 10. If I did this out of 5, it'd be at least a 4. It's not incredible. Perfect timing for my boss to text me. He can wait a second. It's okay. Uh, maple syrup smells and tastes like real maple syrup beer. Never had anything like it before. Really interesting and really enjoyable. I am not going to agree with that. I don't find this to be maple syrupy. Not really at all. Speaking of maple syrup, though, the new Ontario sap sucker that was tried last year... I had the guy on the label as a guest. Uh, that is being re-released very soon, and apparently this year they doubled the amount of maple syrup. 
so it's going to be retried and it won't be like it can be retried as a total as a whole new daily drink vlog because it's the same beer but different so that's kind of cool nothing really else on untapped it's also on ratebeer.com and on ratebeer it has i believe it it's just like uh Beer Advocate. It doesn't have enough ratings to have a full-on rating. 3.5, 3.5 by two different people. Mocha. Too much carbonation. The criticism by one person here. No. That is nicely carbonated. That's a good beer. Drink number last. That big bottle of beer went down pretty damn quickly. I've been recording for like 13 and a half minutes now. Wow. Barnstormer Brewing and Distilling Company. Your smoked Billy Bishop Brown rating out of 10. Solid eight and a half. Like again, not going to take any marks off, even though I am going to say date and ingredientify your shit. That's about it. It's good stuff recommended give it a try and that's gonna do it for today's daily drink vlog thank you so much for watching this video if you liked it then be sure to smash that like button if you want to see more of my videos be sure to smash that subscribe button if you've got something to say to me put some comments in the box down below but thanks again and i'll be back with another daily drink vlog tomorrow a peace out really kind of excited and at the same time a little bit scared of the beer of the tomorrow it's a peach sour